As the nationwide uprisings entered its 67th day on Monday, November 21st, Iran bears witness to military crackdown on major Kurdish cities in Iran while Iranian Kurds in Iraq were targeted with missiles and drone strikes. This signals a new chapter in the regime's increasing desperate attempt to prevent the uprisings from spreading through creating unrest beyond Iran's border. A formula which may have worked in the past as it stoked conflict in the region to suppress dissent at home, but will be futile as it nears its end. The regime has intensified its repression as protests in Kurdish cities and towns morph into an all-out rebellion as whole districts of large cities and smaller towns fall under the control of protesters. And the country comes out in solidarity with their fellow countrymen in regions of ethnic minorities in the West and Southeast. Many cities in Iran have been the scene of protests by people and students in support of the protests in Mahabad and other cities throughout the Kurdish region. In Tehran, people in Janatabad district came to the streets with chants of death to the dictator and death to Khamenei. In Andisha district, groups of protesters torched a base of the IRGC paramilitary basij using Molotov cocktails. In Chitka district, protesters expressed national solidarity with chants of Mahabad and Kurdistan, you are the pride of Iran. In Qod city, Qale Hassan Khan, west of Tehran, locals have established control over the streets with roadblocks that they've created. In Bandar Abbas in southern Iran, protesters took to the streets with chants of death to the dictator. In Mashhad, northeast Iran, a team of young protesters attacked an IRGC paramilitary basij base using Molotov cocktails. In Qazvin, northwest Iran, protesters marched against the regime, supporting the brave people of Jaban Rud. In Borazjan, southern Iran, people set ablaze the office of the regime's local majlis representative, one of the 227 who had joined the call for the execution of protest detainees. While in Boucher, regime security forces fired tear gas as protesters rallied outside the regime's provincial governor's office. In Marv Dasht, South Central Iran, the funeral of Arman Emadi, a protester killed by the regime security forces, turned into protest as mourners chanted, we will resist to the end and we will fight and take back Iran. In Mian Do'ab, South Central Iran, protesters set ablaze to the regime's administrative building whose authorities were permanently closing the stores of merchants who had been on strike recently. In Javanrud, Western Iran, huge protests formed despite heavy crackdown with machine guns by the IRGC and Basij. Heavy gunfire can be heard in incoming footage showing innocent and defenseless locals being gunned down. But despite the brutal crackdown and dozens being killed or injured, protesters stood their ground against the suppressive forces. In Piran Shah, Northwest Iran, people came amassed to the streets with chants of death to the dictator death to Khamenei, martyrs will not die. In parts of the city, locals took control of a transit road, blocking access to suppressive forces. A large number of locals attended the funeral of Karavan Qadir Shokari, a protester killed by the regime's security forces. In Salandaj, students of the Kurdistan University of Medical Sciences, chanting death to the dictator, took to the streets. 